What is up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your GoPro Hero 8 Black coming up after this. What's up guys? Nelson. On this channel, I do photography and tech-based tips, tricks, and tutorials, and I've got a lot of awesome content coming up in the future. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, make sure to hit that notification so that you get all future video updates. I have the GoPro Hero 8 Black here. This is an awesome little camera so far. And I'm going to show you how to update the firmware. And I'm going from version 1 to version 1.5. In version 1.5, we get an enhanced HyperSmooth 2.0 mode that extends it to 4K 60 while using the linear lens and general bug fixes and improvements. There are two ways to update the firmware on this camera. One is through the app on your phone and there is an alternate method if you do not want to go through the app to update the firmware, which I will show you on the PC. So let's go get started. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually download the GoPro app. To do that, click on the Play Store or you would hit the Apple Store and search for GoPro on the Marketplace and hit Install. So go ahead and click open. And you'll be presented with this screen and this is where you can connect your phone to your GoPro. At this point, go ahead and fire up the GoPro. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is make sure the wireless connections are enabled on the GoPro. To do this, go ahead and swipe down from the top, click on preferences, click on connections, click on wireless connections and turn them on. Now you get a notification to connect a new device. Go ahead and hit connect. Click on the GoPro app. Now go ahead and click on find my camera. Android requires your permission to find your camera nearby. We do not use your location for anything else. Go ahead and click enable. Go ahead and allow the GoPro app to access the device location and now it will start searching for the camera. We found your GoPro. Go ahead and hit connect. All right, connection successful. All right, at this point you can change the camera name. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna leave it as the default GP2475-2307. Your Hero 8 is ready. Let's go. If you agree to the GoPro Terms of Service, go ahead and click I agree. If you want to send personalized data to GoPro, go ahead and click I agree. I would like to opt out, so I'm going to click no thanks. You get this lovely little advertisement here. Now, the GoPro app automatically knew there was an update and started downloading the update. So I'm going to swipe down from the top, and you'll notice it says Camera Update Available. I'm going to click here, click Control Your GoPro, all right, Camera Update, Hero 8 Black version 1.50. Extends HyperSmooth 2.0 capability to 4K 60 video with the linear digital lens. Usability improvements, general bug fixes, and user interface improvements. Go ahead and click Update Camera. Go ahead and read the GoPro firmware license if you want. Click Accept and Continue. And it will start transferring the files to the GoPro. It's important that while it's doing the update that you do not leave this application on your phone and do not power off the GoPro. Now, if you already had the application installed and you already had your GoPro and your telephone connected to each other, you would receive a notification within the GoPro app to apply any new updates in the future. And you would just go through the same process of agreeing and applying the update. All right, it has downloaded and now is installing the update. All right, the firmware is being installed on the camera. All right, you'll get this little notification here. Your GoPro will power off and on a few times. 
When the update is complete, your camera screen will return to normal. Go ahead and click Got It. All right, the update is complete. And the screen is back on. If you guys do not want to update through the app for some reason, there is an alternate method. If you go to gopro.com forward slash en forward slash us forward slash update forward slash hero eight dash black, and I will leave a link in the description below. If you scroll down here a little ways, you'll notice there is a thing that says other ways to update. So go ahead and click here, update your camera manually. Now you're going to enter in your 14 digit serial number which is located on the inside of the battery door here. So you have to actually remove the battery. Go ahead and enter that serial number in here. And it's going to ask you to register your camera. So enter your serial number in and enter your email address. And then click on yes, you agree to the terms of use and click on next step. First, we're going to download the update to the computer. So click here on download update. All right, so once you have downloaded that file, go ahead and navigate to your downloads folder. And it will be this update.zip file. Go ahead and right click on him and click extract all. And click extract. Go ahead and close this window. What we're going to do is we're actually going to drag this update file onto the root of the micro SD card that I plugged in. Now your micro SD card is going to be a different drive letter than mine, more than likely, depending on how many devices you have. Mine is N, yours could be D, E, F, whatever. And I'm going to right click on this update and I am going to cut. And then I'm now going to go to the root of my SD card and I'm going to paste this file in here. At this point, make sure that the GoPro is turned off and go ahead and return the SD card to the GoPro and the update will start immediately once you power on the camera. Now it will beep and reboot a number of times while it's updating and that should do it for that method. All right, we are now rocking firmware 1.50 for the GoPro Hero 8. In the coming days, I'm going to be putting this GoPro through the test actually going to be going out to a racetrack on Sunday and strapping this thing to a car on a road course and seeing how it does. I'm going to be testing the stabilization and just the overall functionality of the camera. And also I'm going to be having some more tests in the future on this thing and a long-term review. If you guys found this content useful, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And if you are new here and you like this type of content and you want to see more, please do not hesitate to subscribe. Have a great one. Take care.